In this video, we have the VSET 10 Plus. Uh, it's a dual motor scooter, and we're going to show you uh, how to replace the controller. So the first thing you'll be doing is removing the fasteners along here, especially this one, and here. That allows you to remove the deck. And then the next item you'll be doing is removing these two connectors. These are the charge ports, so you'll disconnect those. Put the deck aside. You'll see some foam on top of the wiring, just to keep the wiring in place and safe. And then, now you're inside the battery compartment. We have your 60 volt battery, and this silver box is your controller, and it handles both motors. So, first off, you'll want to dig down and just gingerly pull up these XT90 connectors. There are two of them, and you'll want to disconnect both, and now you've removed power from everything, and it's pretty much safe to start delving in deeper. So here is one of the two XT90 connectors, and here we have a fuse. So if you've lost power, you may have a blown fuse, and it's just an automotive blade style. And that just pops, pulls out eventually. There, blade style fuse. And it'll have the amperage written on it. Put that back in. And this here is the light module. It uh, steps down as the voltage for all the LED lights. This connector here is for your LCD display throttle up above. So you disconnect that. We label a few wires. So there's some wires here. These ones are the turn signal. And you have the horn. And you also have a wire um, connector for the front headlight here in front on the front mudguard. And you'll also see some wires coming in from the side of the deck. Those are front and rear lights on each side. And down below here, these two yellow plastic blocks, these are the two terminal blocks that have the phase wires for the two motors. So three phase wires for, the, for one motor, other set for the other motor, and you'll have to pull those out, open that up, disconnect those wires, and then you'll be ready to remove the controller, which when you remove it, looks like this. On the bottom, you're going to find some sticky thermal pad. So that's thermally connecting the controller to the aluminum of the deck. And you won't be able to pry this up, so we have to take the battery out first so you can get some leverage to pull the controller out. And this white wire, this is your speed limiting wire. So it'll be just a matter of swapping all your connectors around. You'll want to make sure that you get the front and rear motors correct so that your dual motor switch up top operates the rear motor and not the front motor. If you swap things around, you'll uh, end up with a front motor that runs all the time and the rear motor shuts off on and off. So once you've swapped all your wires and you've managed to get your wires back in here, the battery back in here, you have this, make sure you have your rubber seal in place when you put the deck on. Deck goes back on. Do not over tighten the screws. Just make sure they're snug, but don't go gorilla strength on them because you'll crack your deck and you don't want to do that. So make sure your charge ports connectors are redone before you screw, screw everything down and you'll be set to go.